my theme song Hard is the brick that I cut my teeth on Soft is the science made you push it Push it, push it Fun, loud, hard Full figure, nah, full facts Bad for ten key, better with a black big ratchet clip For garter bells, gone Sally Hansen Ill's hard as hell, that moonshine in a champagne flute Old English and a new tattoo What we do to be the last man standing Break an ankle to stick the landing And I'll be singing in the silo Let that echo clear my head Learn to tolerate the eye king Got real good at playing dead Call to arms, young statuettes Coquettings, clever yet bit Venus de Milo's better with her bayonet But he running out the clock though Rock those and their silly ass faces Yeah, any damn day They can douse mud We can sell bleach Teach, work, live, speak That doom tree Oh, sprayed that second jet out Run, it wouldn't work So it wasn't the fuel switch It was actually the carburetor So in that fast forward sequence We cleaned her up Got her run right Today we got a little generator here of my buddy Ashton the firefighter and he asked me if I could check it out and get it running for him. So far I've taken a plug out and this lid off. This lid went in here like this. I unscrewed the screw in the center. It had another screw on the side right here. I pulled that out and that allows you to move the air filter. We're going to go ahead and remove these two screws, this hose. We're going to pull this whole air filter assembly out so we can get to this bowl because I pulled the spark plug out and it was dry so we pulled that up and you know if you don't have a special spark plug socket well let me help you what is the size of that booger right that's what everybody wants to know sure I bet it's 18 let's see I think it's an 18 no, it's not an 18. It's bigger than an 18. So it's probably a 19. What is this? Maybe 19 or 20. Hmm. I'll have to look at that in a minute. 13 16 spark plug. And it's dry. I mean, dry, dry. So it's definitely got a fuel issue. We pull started a few times. Cord stays dry. We've choked it. Put it on choke. And then we put it on run and it didn't say anything. So we know it's not getting any fuel. So we're going to make sure. Take this apart and see why. Alright. So we pulled this off. The two studs here. The screw. We pulled the screw off the inside here. And there's another screw in here we need to pull off. Not the right size. We'll use an 8. Looks like 8s and 10s on this unit. You know, they usually make them pretty crafty where you, you feel like you're going to break something if you get in there. you got so many steps to get in there to look at the things. Let's 
kind of part of the secret. So we'll pull this dude out. Now we got all kinds of room for activities. Put our nut back in there, put our bolt back in there. So now we can get to this unit right here. We're gonna go ahead and pull our, no, we're gonna keep our hose on and we're gonna get to that, unscrew that, make a little mess there. We'll put a paper towel right here. It's gonna smell like gas because it's gonna spill some a little bit of gas. We're gonna clean this thing out and see what these jets look like. And the float. This is where the float stays right here. And so we're gonna make sure that the float is working and make sure that our jets are good. Definitely got gas in it, so that's good. It's a good sign. Oh, it's stinky though. Man, it's stinky. catching you all right we got it to run a little bit we squirted some gas in the carburetor and then we're gonna pull it and see if it starts spray a little bit in there a little bit of suction float bowl is making a mess we got it loose we're gonna pull this bolt off down at the bottom pull it all out make a big mess oh yeah see I like gunk oh and my kids having a meltdown okay perfect timing perfect timing for my kid to have a meltdown honestly to spray that dude out. Sometimes that'll work. Oh, it's really, really dirty in there. No doubt it's getting gas in the bowls filling up, as we can see. Here, just like it was. I'm gonna put 
put this bad boy back in there just like it was let the carburetor fill up and then we'll go deal with daughter's meltdown Let's give it a little bit more spray. take the fuel out it looks like and get in there to that float okay not a big deal All right, so what we need to do now is pull this little jet out. And this little jet, you lift the float up and get your camera to, to see. And it's right there. This little guy right here, it's got a screw head on it, a little straight edge screw head. After it. So we need to pull that guy off because we know it's clogged. This is never settled. Screws like that. And as tight as it was, I don't need to. I mean, I don't need to tell you how bad it's gonna be clogged inside. So alright. Now what I like to usually do is try to see light through them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Notification right on my phone, right in the middle. Okay. Huh. I'd have better luck filming it on the ground, I guess, maybe. I don't know. So you can see there's a hole in there, but you can't see light through it. I've already shined it up to the light. In fact, you can see how clogged it is on this side. Look, completely clogged. So we're gonna go ahead and stick a needle through it and clean it in some gasoline because there's no way for that gas to get through that little jet. So all it is is a little tiny, 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 tiny hole clogged with a little bit of gas that's kind of solidified and started to harden. And so the way that you can do away with this stuff is to just go out there and fire it up every three, four, or five months, maybe, you know, once every eight months. I guess probably the best rule is probably like every five months go out there and fire your generator up or your engine that's in your garage because that's where he had it stored is in his garage and that's perfectly fine but you got to fire it up and keep that gas moving throughout there uh, just putting some kind of fuel stabilizer in it, it's not gonna it's not gonna cause it's not gonna solve the problem you got to run the stuff and uh, and or drain the tank completely of gas uh, some people you know will do like I do when I go and store my yard equipment most of the time, I'll run it completely out of gas, which means basically run it until it won't run anymore, until the carburetor is completely empty. And so that's how I store them. You know, some other people do it different ways. Everybody's got their different way, a thousand different ways to do it. Hopefully this will help. So we'll go ahead and spray this out with some uh, PB Blast Penetrant and some carb cleaner and then uh, get it under the sink some hot water and put a little safety pin through it. Let's see if we can find something right now. Okay. This thing is so tiny, I'm afraid I'm gonna drop it. Big old mitts.
Now what's cool about it is you could stick a straw right inside this unit right here and spray. Check it out. So you can see we got her clear. We got her real clear. My hands are so big, dude. This thing gets lost. But yeah, you can see the white, the hole in it. So we're going to go ahead and put it back together. And it should run. Alright, we're going to try to screw it in by hand. I don't know. Oh, man. My hands are so big. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that is trifling. That is really something else. Let me try to put it on the end of my screwdriver. And maybe that'll be better. It, it's... I can't really get my hands around it. My fingers, specifically. I always have that problem with these guys because they're so tiny. <laughs> Dang it! Micro size. Come on. How long do you think it'll take for me to get this thing threaded in here? Lead, come on, man, damn it. Ah, I thought I had it. There it is. I got it. I got her. There go. That is not fun if you got big hands. Not fun. Alright, so we got her there, just snug. We don't need to put much force on it. go all right so what we did is we turned the gas we turned the machine off and that in turn turned the gas off so we don't have a big pile of mess right here right now so that helps right okay and then get our little bolt back here clean the bottom of it off real good we should clean the inside of this real good too any little small speck you got in here will get all up in that business so let's go and wash that out that thing looks pretty crappy look at it so my phone's doing this cool thing where it's just deciding what length of my videos are sometimes this little filter clogs up so the first thing I did is push this little compression scrimp squeezed it and slid it to the side and then pull this hose off made sure that this gas was flowing out of it and it is it's flowing good but this is just a little fuel filter it filters out all the sediment and stuff from the tank uh, so it doesn't get in the carburetor um, so sometimes you can pull the filter off and the filter if it isn't blowing through we'll just go get you a new one you know and fix it that way so that could be a fuel problem sometimes the fuel switches on them the fuel switches will gum up and the fuel switches won't let them uh, get fuel to them so we got very lucky on this one it was a pretty easy fix not too difficult at all and we'll go ahead and fire her up here in a second still needs to clear
fuel switch is having a problem as well just like I said you know just like I called it switch for the fuel tank is right here so you're switching off the fuel supply when you're turning it off and so that switch is kind of janky as well so we got it to work pretty good on choke it ain't working very good when it's supposed to be running so we need to possible there's another jet in there that's clogged up. I forgot to look at the top of it. I forgot about that other jet. I think there's another jet up above it. Uh, probably need to clean that one out. And or the switch is bad on this. For the fuel, when you turn it on run, it turns off like it's starving for fuel. But I wanted to think, but I wanted to bring attention to these two MVPs right here. There's a couple things you can do with these two things. You can kill wasps in midair by spraying these guys. Now this is the spray bottle. You can see it's a spray bottle because it has the spray cap, right? And this is the pour in the tank bottle because it has the screw off cap. You can get both of these at Walmart. Walmart sells them across the United States and also you can get them at O'Reilly's. This is the best fuel injector carburetor cleaner on the market that I've seen ever. You always want to wear glasses with these goggles because they melt. They will melt your eyeballs. This will melt your eyeballs if it gets on them. And you know, anything with a straw or a spray on it, it's going to spray everywhere and you're going to have some deflection and some 
bounce back so be careful with that because this could cause you to lose your vision this is uh, a couple of good uses for these you can clean your sidewalks your driveways any oil spots grease spots in your driveways hit it with a spray can let it sit there and go and scrub it off with some soap dish soap and a water hose uh, like I said you could kill wasps with these you put that little straw on the end of this little deal and it sprays way far you can literally kill nests and watch wasp or wasp and bees fly at you and you spray them in midair and they just drop out you know like bug spray should do so really cool stuff about these products uh, also you know it'll start a motor it's very flammable but you know it'll clean gas and oil on off of just about anything so really cool products there but again you don't want to swallow them you don't want to ingest them you don't want to get it on your skin you definitely don't want to get it in your eyeballs that's the last place you want it i promise you it will melt your eyeball it melts styrofoam it melts plastic and it melts bees and bugs <laughs> melts gasoline varnish all that stuff Berryman's B12 Chem Tool. Also an octane booster. I used to use on my turbo engines for years because it has toluene in it, which boosts the octane exponentially. Toluene, yeah. Removes paint. Contains toluene, first ingredient. It has all the good stuff in it, though. Do not use in diesel engines. <laughs> Got it. 